San Diego has always looked out over an endless expanse of blue. The ocean, of course, but also the sky. Because this is a place of higher aspirations and home to one of the world's great airports. The path to San Diego's airport is grounded by many aviation firsts. In fact, you could say that innovation and a can-do spirit, San Diego style, carried us to new heights in the soaring history of aviation. In 1883, John Joseph Montgomery successfully flew his aeroplane on Otay Mesa, the first man-controlled heavier-than-air flight in the U.S., and 20 years before the Wright brothers. Glenn Hammond Curtis hit town in 1910, or rather flew over. He was, in fact, the first American to actually own a pilot's license. The Wright brothers were numbers four and five. That same year, charged by the Navy to develop a plane that could successfully take off from a ship, Curtis set to work and succeeded. Some months later, he also showed it was possible to land aboard a ship, creating the vision and possibilities of aircraft carriers and setting in motion the creation of what is today among the largest military facilities in the nation, North Island Naval Air Station. But perhaps San Diego's most famous claim to aviation greatness is embodied in a Midwesterner named Charles Lindbergh, who in 1927 became the first person to fly non-stop across the Atlantic Ocean. Lindbergh hired a small San Diego-based company called Ryan Airlines to design a plane to do the job. San Diego became known as the birthplace of aviation. In 1928, San Diego Municipal Airport Lindbergh Field opened for business. The city was ready to market itself as a destination town and the air capital of the West. The outbreak of World War II coincided with and fueled San Diego's population growth. The military transformed San Diego's airport into a modern aviation transportation center the 8,750-foot mega runway, built to accommodate World War II-era long-range bombers, made the airport jet-ready long before United Airlines became the first airline to offer pure jet service in September 1960. The jet age fueled growth at the airport and throughout the region in the 1950s and 60s. San Diego's homegrown airline, Pacific Southwest Airlines, PSA, was the first airline to fly business people to Northern California and back in one day, launching the commuter airline boom. Aircraft were becoming larger and faster, which required longer runways and more efficient terminals to move planes and people in and out quickly. The East Terminal, now known as Terminal 1, opened in 1967 with the capacity to accommodate 16 planes at once. This was also a time when airports had to balance environmental impact and again, San Diego's airport took the lead. In the 1970s, the airport introduced a nighttime curfew as a mitigation measure for communities impacted by aircraft noise. In the 60s and 70s, San Diego's economy was shifting from the defense industry toward the tourist trade. In 1979, the West Terminal, or Terminal 2, was dedicated. In 1998, T2 was expanded with security and customer amenities that were considered state-of-the-art. The 21st century brought major changes to San Diego International Airport. Recognizing the regional but highly focused nature of airport issues, operation of the airport was transferred from its longtime administrator, the Port of San Diego, to the newly created San Diego County Regional Airport Authority in 2003. A nine-member board was appointed to oversee operations and planning. With an eye to the future and projected growth, this board put forth a new airport site to the voters of San Diego. In 2006, the voters opted to leave the airport at its current location in the heart of the city. So the airport authorities set out to make San Diego International Airport the best it could be. In 2013, T2 was again expanded, featuring environmentally savvy advancements. The Green Build, as it's known, is the first LEED Platinum Certified Commercial Airport Terminal in the world. Innovative use of space with an eye toward customer experience continued in 2016 and in 2018 with the addition of a new consolidated rental car center on the airport's north side and a 2,900 space parking plaza at Terminal 2. 
The opening of the new International Arrivals Facility heralds a new era for international travelers to San Diego. And with this opening, San Diego International Airport is one of the first in the nation to implement facial scan technology at entry. And today, the airport has a $12 billion economic impact throughout the region. In a rushed world with places to go and people to see, it can be difficult to reduce to ground speed, to slow down and appreciate one's immediate surroundings. An airport isn't a destination, it's a portal for visitors and residents alike. It's easy to forget that flying is more than just a faster way to get from point A to point B. There are all the points in between that have a profound impact here on the ground. San Diego International Airport has been in the heart of civic change and aviation firsts for nearly a century. But we have miles ahead of us and so many places to see.